Hey everyone, I am in a different location than usual and with some extra guests. I am at our family home in Florida and um, I have my beautiful nieces with me, niece one and niece two. And um, they're visiting, we're all coming from other places and we're here for Thanksgiving week and we did a very quick little shopping haul to CVS and Walgreens. Got the girls a few things and picked up just a couple of things for myself. So let's start with what we found at uh, CVS. Um, I don't know if when this goes on, it's still going to be going on, but there is a 40% off sale of NYC goodies. So what did you show them what you got? Um, I got some bronzer from NYC. Um, mine broke, so she recommended a new one for me. And it's the one called Sunny, which I've recommended before, and it looks like... Got to cover the mirror so we don't blind okay. the people. So why don't you show them what it looks like? It looks like... Oh, like a sun. Like so, hence the name. Sunny. And it's a nice Sunny. matte bronzer. And that's pretty much, that's all we got at CVS, that's, wasn't it? Yeah. It was kind of a lame. It was for like a dollar, $2? Oh yeah, 40% off, so it was $2.09, which yeah. that was so a good deal. That was a good deal. Cool. Then we went to Walgreens, and we did get a little crazier. So, um, not a lot of appropriate makeup for a 10-year-old, <laughs> but we did find something. Do you want to show them what you got? Do you know yeah. what it is? Sparkly lip gloss. Sparkly <laughs> lip gloss. This is from Jordana, and it's from their Lip Out Loud collection. Looks like that. And this is in the shade ASAP, which I have at home, actually. I forgot I own this. Oh. <laughs> but here's the cool thing. Let's swatch. Do you know what swatch means? I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> so hold this with your right hand. Now take your hand, and we're going to swatch it. And then we hold it up to the camera, and they can see the pretty colors. I think this is a very appropriate lip gloss for a 10-year-old girl who wants to go um, maybe to dinner with the family and wants to be a little sparkly for the holiday. Should we put some on you right now? Sure. Okay, let's, let's just put it, wait, we don't want your hair in it. Okay. <laughs> there you go, look at me, sweetie. Go like this. A little Ooh, more on top. Very pretty. Very nice. Very perfect oh, for it dinner. Oh, like a iridescent. And it's iridescent. It's a lovely color. And actually, even for those of us that are a little older than 10, this is, can be a fun lipstick, especially for the holidays. And then I got the girls. Do you have yours with you? It doesn't matter. It's downstairs. Um, Walgreens has um, EO, EOS lip balm knockoffs, and we saw them at the beauty counter, and we thought we had to get them. And it's called Well at Wal Well at Walgreens, and this is the brand. It is I don't know what it is. it's sugar cookie lip balm, so very much like EOS. And we both tried ours. Have you tried yours yet? No, but they I they each got yours. one. It smells and tastes. You can hold it just like. A sugar cookie and I think it's creamier than the EOS one so it, I well I don't know how it's on me right now under my lipstick and I love it love it love it love it making me hungry okay then yeah. I see oh I got you a couple more things so this one wanted to try a new mascara what's the one that you're using now that you don't like it's a Clinique one it's it clumps your lashes this way clumps your okay so I told her to try the best lash best lash extreme because it's one of my favorites by Jordana, and I noticed that they have a new one called Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara, and um, I'm gonna give it a go, because why not? So it looks like it's a giant brush. Wow, look at that. That's humongous. So we'll just see. We'll try it. We'll see how it holds up in the Florida humidity. And you have to let me know how you like that one. Oh, well. You know, let's see how the brushes compare. Should we try? Yeah. You here. You take yours. You take yours. It's smaller. It's much smaller. Well, wow. hold yeah. yours out. Let's hold them next to each other. Big difference. Huge difference. So this this one on what is that, like that side volume? is the uh, best lash extreme, and this is extreme volumizing on that side. So monster huge. This is interesting. I think if you don't care for a large brush, this is not going to be the mascara for you. What do we have left? Ah, yes. Another Jordana. I told niece number one here that the um, Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil in Rock and Rose is awesome. I picked this up recently when I was in New York, and I really like this, and I think it's perfect color for you. You just kind of outline your lips very gently in it. It looks darker than it is, and then any neutral color will look good. Then a couple things for me. Um, I have, haven't actually even heard very good reviews about this. I'm gonna try and open it, but I saw this. I have not seen it in person at my, oh shoot, I just dipped it now. I haven't seen this in person at my own Walgreens, but of course they had it here in Florida, 
and I'm already regretting the purchase because I've chipped a nail. It's the uh, No Neutral Ground, I guess you call it an, I don't know what kind of palette this is. It's, these are the colors, and I'm trying to get it open to swatch for you, but wanna work on that? Yeah. Your nails are already beyond yeah. help. There you go. <laughs> and then um, I saw this on my friend, um, I think I've mentioned, I mentioned her recently in um, last week's video, Erin at Busby Style. And when we went to, she went to film um, a morning show in San Antonio and I came to watch. And um, I have to say, just, she did mention me, it was very cool. But she had on the most beautiful blush and she told me it was this L'Oreal um, Visible Lift Color Lift Blush and it's in the rose gold color, rose Dior, Dior, whatever. And um, it's this. And there's a whole bunch of colors in the collection but I saw this rose gold one and I just, I had to give it a try so. Ooh, this is interesting. Pretty. I don't know how I feel about this. It's, it's like a highlighter. It's more, I would say this is more of a highlighter. I'm really swatching the... Oh, it goes out. You know what? It, it swatches funny on my finger. It doesn't look like much. But as I drew it across my skin, it really does... The light is fading rapidly here. Um, but I will play with this. This is, to me, definitely more of a highlighter. Um, and I would put other blush on top of it. Like, I think... Narsin would look good with this, or the new Benefit Rockateur would look really cool with this. Any more pinkish gold toned, um, warm tone, there's definitely, it's almost like a duochrome. So anyway, that's our haul. We still can't open that darn thing, can we? Got half of it. This, this, one's, half of this it. one's not coming off. Well, um, like I said, kind of regretting this purchase, but I couldn't pass it up. Wait. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, I thought something tragic was going to happen there. Um, so that's what it looks like, and I, Emily Noel 83 swatched it, and it didn't look great when she did it either, but there's the gold one. They're kind of... It came with silver thick brush. <laughs> yeah, those, we just chucked those. And then this silvery one. They're not as creamy as I'm used to, I have to say, just at first glance. At least this first. Okay, so that's the top row. They're kind of gritty. And then the middle row is yeah they're not the same but they are still pretty colors i have to this is the middle one those are some more jewel tones and then the bottom is like a dark brown can't go wrong with that and this teal one it's like a dark i don't know this may go home with one of the girls but i had to try it yeah i don't know they're not they they're not like they're not wowing more powdery me than they're wild very good. She just said they look, if you didn't hear, she said they look more powdery than the usual. Yeah, they do. So I'm not sure. Anybody has any experience with this? I did hear that Wet n Wild has released all new six pans. They are not limited edition. They are going to be part of the permanent collection. I have not seen them. I'm very excited. If you've seen them, let me know. Tell me where you saw them. I'm on the hunt. Anyway, I hope everyone had a great holiday last week and we're getting ready for the next round. I'm still in the middle of Hanukkah, so we're enjoying ourselves and um thank you so much for watching and i'm so happy to introduce you to my nieces whose names shall remain <laughs> nameless and um i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching oh and that girl that was in uh her fashion class last year yeah she knows me <laughs> see you in the next video Bye bye